Yep, we're gonna go fishing, but I'm gonna show you something real quick. Welcome to my garage. I gotta package up a couple rods, then we're going on the water and we're putting slabs in the boat. Sales for the rods have been incredible. The Savage 13, the jigging rod, the 13 footer that turns into a 15, 16 footer, flying off the shelf. Unbelievable, so what I do, which is something you guys don't typically know, is before I go out there and I fish, I'll come up to my garage and I'll package up rods, just like this. And for those that don't know, the Savage, all these rods come in a really nice package. They go in a three inch tube, just like so, so we can protect them. Little foam, little bubble wrap, cap, tape it together, and boom, that's a Savage going out to a customer. Okay, about 15 rods later, we're done with that, and so we're gonna head to the boat now. So we're gonna walk down this hill, and we're gonna get it done. We're gonna be casting, can't wait. Still got that new Comet from Sniping Bray, man. I'm excited, this feels so good that uh, I look forward to go fishing with it, to be quite honest with you, I ain't gonna lie. So, we're gonna put big fish in the boat. Excited, it's a beautiful day, slightly, check, check it out. Check it out, guys, come on now. We got a bluebird day. We have got an absolute bluebird day. Unbelievable. And we're talking, February. Now, don't get me wrong. I expect, I fully expect, expect another winter blast to come through here and, uh, well, you know, wreck some havoc on this area and freeze it back over. But hey, maybe not. We got Darbone coming. I don't want to experience that experience that we had, what was that, three years ago where we had to break ice? No, 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 no. Let's get the boat in the water. Now, look, guys, as this boat lowers, I'm just going to tell you a little something. All these products up here, the Garmin, etc. This is an 8616. That's a Solux getting warmed up right now. All of this stuff, PTG. Check them out, PTG. We'll take care of you on all this stuff, whether it's the live scope, whether it's the trolling motor. I'm telling you, give them a holler. They've actually got new locations down in Northport, which is pretty darn cool. But um, yeah, we've got a lot of sun, bluebird. I bet you it's gonna be a tricky bite. That's, that's my vibe. Anytime you get a bluebird on my leg, like this, not that much wind. I think we're gonna be, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a tough bite. But I bet you we put slabs in the boat and we'll show you and what we're doing. So today is gonna be about 50 degrees, believe it or not. It's unbelievable. Bluebird day, water temperatures in the low 40s. Uh, we do have a light wind that's supposed to go up to maybe 10. So we'll be off the water by the time it does that. But I like to get out of here, fish early, fish for about an hour and a half. And then uh, I have been doing a lot of TikToks. If you guys aren't watching me on TikTok, you guys are crazy because you're getting to see the absolute live fishing that's going on. Um, so check it out on the TikTok shop. Uh, not TikTok shop, but the TikTok channel. Uh, and I know it sounds weird to say TikTok. I totally get it. My wife got me into it. By golly, I like it. So pretty cool. Very easy to do content over there. So, all right, let's go. We're gonna go all the way up to the other side of the lake. All right, guys, I have to admit, it's pretty cold. I guess maybe a little colder than I thought. So we might be putting our wind rider on, or, or at least our top. Typically, I don't have to wear my top. I can just wear the bottoms, as you as you can see here. But I gotta tell you, it's pretty. It's pretty cold. Boom! First fish of the day, right there, guys. That was freaking beautiful. Played him like a champ. Man, that hammer feels just so good when it's the fish is beating like that. Good fish too, man. Good fish, solid fish. There you go, guys, right there. Ah, oh, gosh dang, that's beautiful. In the mud with the old pink tail hair jig. Oh, wow, beautiful. Now, for you guys that are new to crappie fishing, that's a black crappie, okay? So there's seven different variations and mostly on my home lake, it's a black crappie that you're gonna catch. And that's a beautiful, that's, a, that's what we call a solid eater. And there, look at that, beautiful. Right next to the, right next to the hammer 10, 10 footer right there, boys and girls, right there, it's awesome. All right, we let them go here at three pound fish and we let them go, there you go. Now the schools seem to be a little sporadic. So we're focusing a little bit more on these mud fish which I really like. It's just a joy to see these guys jump out of the mud and just grab it. And it just doesn't get any better. Now, 
Why are the sporadic in the schools? I have no idea. I wish I could talk fish, but I can't. And lately they've just been sporadic. A lot of times when the sun comes out, that'll make them a little bit more, calm them and make them be a lot stiller, quieter, not move around as much. But as you can see this school right here, they're jumping around quite a bit. And for whatever reason, it's tougher to get them to bite. Not that you can't, and we're trying right now here on this group here, but reality is, oh, we got a crazy one here. Boom, oh baby. We tried, we tried. All right, even though we caught a fish with this jig, we just caught it. We're gonna go ahead and change it out. I'm gonna show you guys the loop knot. We're gonna use the new blue, the light blue uh, jig that we have. Uh, I've made them into a couple hair jigs. So, we're gonna go with this guy right here. I think that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful jig right there. So it's called Light Blue. It's on my website. You guys can check it out. You can buy it. And then you can make hair jigs out of it. You can put it on plastics, whatever. Um, but it's just a new color offering that we have that I thought we were missing. So something around the blue, gray, it's kind of mixture. Um, I think that that's always a good color to have, especially those guys that just like to go with straight uh, gray. This light blue is extremely similar. Um, it's actually a mixture of the two. Here's the actual jig right here, if you guys are interested. There it is, beautiful. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right, let's put this guy to work. Boom. All right. Again, fish in the mud, guys. Having the best experience with those. Seem to be a little bit more active. Not terribly active, but it's good fish. That hammer just feels awesome when you're bringing in a fish. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's that light blue, baby. That light blue jig. Good fish, guys. Good fish. I think that light blue gives it just a little bit more of a natural look to it. And that's what I like about it. That's what I like about it. Now, if I have a bad cast, I go right back. I bring it right back in. I don't waste my time with, with bad cast, guys. That's a uh, waste of time. We try to be as efficient as we can. Beautiful fish. <laughs> you gotta love it. Baby blue strikes again. Ooh, baby, that's a pretty fish. Hammer 10 strikes again, baby. Check out the hammer 10 at 3poundfishing.com. Hey, this is fun. We've got a lot of fish in the mud, and I'm telling you what, you know, some of them are just eaters. This is just a solid eater. We eat this all day long. This is a this is a solid 11 inch fish. Boom, right there. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh yeah, baby. Boy, I didn't know if he was on there, but he must have been running with it. Good night. Now you can see all those fish on the dirt right there, right guys? Those are your active fish. And we got another dandy here. Good eating size fish. Good eating size fish. Bam, beautiful. We're gonna let them go. Now look, I'm th I went back to a, a uh, number seven split shot, moving it through there pretty quick, but these, these fish in the mud just seem to be a little bit more aggressive. That's two casts, two fish. Um, going in here for the third. Let's see if we can get it on the third. Are we that fortunate? Yep, here we go. Boom, another one. That's three in a row now, three in a row. Nice little eater. This seems like they're waking up a little bit. It's 9.35 now in the morning, and it seems like they're turning on just a little bit. Ooh, they didn't like that. That's funny. Did you guys see those split away? Wow. Here we go. 
There we go. Got him. He didn't even touch it, boys and girls. He just barely put it in his mouth. That's hilarious and a great fish. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Why you need a sensitive rod and why you need some awesome braid, which I love the comment from Sniping Braid, okay? Never felt that fish, played the screen. This fish barely put it in its mouth and you can yank them in. The hammer, I'm gonna keep that fish for pictures later. The hammer gets it done. No joke, guys. Check out the hammer at threepoundfishing.com. Super excited. This, this rod has been flying off the mark. <laughs> when you put this in your hands, this with this 200, with this reel right here, you'll feel the most balanced 10-footer of your life. And anybody that went to the Collinsville show, we sold an unbelievable one, knows what I'm talking about. You put this in your hand and you're gonna absolutely love it. Super sensitive. So anyway, we're gonna call it. What a great episode. I appreciate you guys. Please subscribe uh, to the channel and uh, we'll see you next time. We got Darbone coming up. So you're gonna start seeing some episodes coming up and uh, it's gonna be a great year 2024. Take it easy guys.